hi and i'm here to uh, explain the whole financial model for co-working space the case scenario of this co-working space is that that uh, uh, you have a space and you are going to rent it out on a monthly basis with different people so this is the whole structure right now how uh, how many uh, reports we are having in financial model input revenue Startup summary, monthly PNL, yearly cash flow, balance sheet, dashboard, depreciation, amortization, investment analysis, and then sensitive analysis. And sensitive analysis, we have three to four case scenarios. So, how to work with this financial model? This is your input sheet, and in the input sheet, the, you can see the pitch area. So, whenever you see in the uh, the pitch area in the financial model, this is your basically the input area. And you need to fill out. Let me explain one by one. So this is the starting date. Uh, we are asking the starting date from you at your end. What is the starting date right now? You need to update the starting date over here. And this is uh, the investment area. So you, for example, if you have an investor and how much investment it is coming from the investor, you need to put over here. And the month is very important. So you need to select the months over here. Because this month is directly linked with your cash flow and PNL, and and in the balance sheet as well. Now the private funding. Private funding means how much the investment you are uh, taking in in the basis. So again, the month is very important. You need to put the months over here, and the loan uh, as an investment. And if you are taking any loan from the bank, you need to update over here with the month. And here, this is the dis desired rate. We, we call it discount rate as well desired return and this is also the discount rate in the investment sheet. So how much the growth rate you are having, the growth rate uh, you can update easily. This growth rate is linked with the revenue and other sheet, how much the occupancy rate you are having and then we are having the growth rate on it. And the jump rate is mean that you are having a lost customers uh, on a monthly basis so you need to update the jump rate. If you don't have any jump rate then just leave it at zero. This is your cost of services. We are saying that 25% is your cost of services. You can update your percentage over here. And land, these are basically your fixed assets. And this is the amount. Um, I need to tell you one more thing. Uh, if you select one, so it will update in the startup summary. If you update any other month, then it will show in the um, cash flow p &L. It will not be updated in the startup summary. So you need to make sure that in which month you are having uh, these assets. Now the tax rate, and you uh, one more thing, um, you can update the names as well. It doesn't necessarily that um, these are the uh, fixed names. You can update the names and the amount as well. What is the tax rate and office space? Okay, this is the thing that how much the total um, space you are having uh, as a uh, co-working space. So what is the total space you are having? Leasable area, non-leasable area, utilization rate, uh, how much you, you will utilize the whole area parking spot if you're having a parking spot you need to update over here so uh, revenue assumption this is the area where you can explain uh, you can update the whole uh, information regarding your space okay how many how much the dedicated desk you are having and we are taking the average what is your average price and what is the occupancy rate remember the whole um, financial model is based on the occupancy rate because you have a fixed space so that's why we are updating the occupancy rate and then putting the growth rate on it to have the full occupancy rate. So uh, you need to update the occupancy rate over here. This is the average price. Okay, what is the average price of these uh, kind of services? You can, uh, of course, this is a co-working space. So how much the space you are providing? This is a hot desk or small office. You can update the names and no, no worries about it. Second thing. Uh, these are the assistant of um, services you are if you are providing any services to your uh, customers who are taking the space in your um, in your co-working space then you can update the name and the ratio as well okay how much the ratio of these services you are providing and what are the packages the basic and premium so these are the basically our uh, services name um, and this is the basically package names okay and this is the occupancy rate okay how much occupancy you are having Oh, sorry, um, uh, ratio, segmentation, okay? How many people are taking basic um, uh, services? How many people are taking premium? So this is 16, 40, and these are basically segmentation of assistant services.
So if you don't have any, you can leave it in blank. But if you are providing any services, then you need to update over here and the uh, segmentation as well. Now, here we are having the whole structure of the co-working space. Uh, how many units are, uh, this is a kitchen or uh, this is office, small, big, open space, de dedicated, common, table, hot desk. So this is the basically structure of your co-working space. This is the segmentation. If the segmentation should be the 100% and this is the capacity, how much the square feet. And this is the unit price. And these are the number of units. So with this help of number of units, we are updating the co-working revenue sheet. So this is the unit price, how much the uh, <clears throat> units you are having uh, or the taxes you are having and how much the space you are having it right now. So you can see that the each area is your input area. This, the number of units or the dust means we are calculating and the total square feet we are also calculating. Okay, so just update the page area and you can update the names uh, of unit types if you want to do. Now, uh, these are the payroll and this payroll is very, uh, mm, you can say, yeah, it's very uh, monthly basis and very detail oriented. Uh, how? This is our management area. Okay, what is your annual salary? How many benefits you are providing? It is the tax benefit or any other benefits you are providing then you need to update over here and we are calculating as per the information. So uh, this is the annual base rate, this is the sales marketing, and now the website. Uh, you can update the names and the department. This is the department, and this is the team, uh, team member's name. So you can say designation. You can update it as well. So this is the, we are giving one, two, three, uh, four, five departments, and you can update the names of these people and uh, you can update the designation and the salary as well. Um, now here, this is your operating expenses details. So this is your monthly operating expenses you need to update over here. Once you will done the whole uh, revenue, uh, sorry, input sheet, then you will go to the in revenue analyzer sheet. Here it is the revenue analysis, okay. So here you can see there's no input area because everything is over here. So the revenue assumptions, the whole thing we are taking from here and this, the above part and the below part regarding the whole structure and then we are calculating the whole revenue. So this is your desk occupancy rate, growth rate we are taking this. This is your growth rate. You need to update from here. This is your growth rate. And now we are calculating the whole uh, revenue. And now, startup summary. A startup summary is linked, uh, let me tell you, is for the first year. So the whole startup summary case is that we are taking the whole first year expenses plus the startup expenses and the startup assets as well. So um, it's, again, the startup assets is linked with over here, uh, your disk fixed assets. So you need to make sure that you are selecting a proper month. So we are getting the whole uh, funding and uh, total analysis. Okay, how much the funding you are having. You would require uh, total funding. And then this is the utilization of funds, how much utilization of funds you are having, total cost, everything. Now monthly p &L. In the monthly p &L you are having, uh, uh, you can see the loss MMR and jump risk. So loss MMR is mean that how much the people you are having uh, lost um, in, in a month. So you, this is, you can update from here. This is the junk rate, okay? So we are giving you the MMR analysis side by side. This is your revenue. This is your net MMR. Net, uh, net MMR means net monthly decaying revenue from the whole working space. This is the cost of service. So you can see there's no input area because the whole monthly sheet is updated with the help of the input sheet. Now coming up the yearly, you have the whole three years month uh, yearly p &L. Now the cash flow, cash flow you will have the yearly in the left side and the monthly in the left, uh, right side, the whole cash flow analysis. And this here, we are recording opening cash balance in the cash flow statement. That's it. The whole uh, analysis you are getting uh, um, on time means without any changes in cash flow because the whole cash flow is based in the income sheet. Uh, link with the income. Same like the uh, balance sheet you can see. Balance sheet is also linked with the input sheet. There's no input area. You will have the whole 
uh, balance sheet uh, <clears throat> now the dashboard i uh, let me uh, zoom out okay so this is your uh, cost utilization fund revenue segmentation how much the revenue you are having asset segmentation okay and then break even analysis cash flow analysis and yearly analysis how much that this is you can see in the summary as well in form of the chart <clears throat> now back over here you have the depreciation investment analysis is very important okay how much investment do you are taking from the third party which is this and it is like okay how much the irr you will have and how much equity you can offer and it is just estimation it is up to you how much equity you have but but we are calculating based on the npv and the investment of the investor and this is your break even point and this is your chart over here amortization explain sensitive analysis so here in sense scenario analysis what we are doing this is your actual plan with the help of the input sheet now you can make the up, very uh, pessimistic uh, case which is low you can update over here 30 or 10 you can see this okay what will happen if the revenue go down by this uh, by this percentage so you will have the analysis and this is your model let's say your how much the revenue will be decreased by a small percentage which will be moderate and optimistic optimistic means how much the revenue will be increased if the if the case what will be the case or what will be the net profitability of the company so we are having the whole analysis of these all four cases over here to match up okay how much the case scenarios will be happen um i have explained the whole uh, financial model in very detail if you have any question you can